serious mathematicians on Reddit who work in the industry and not in academia. What is your work like? Bay in mathematics, work in construction now as superintendent. It's the easiest job ever. I was just napping in my truck. Degree unrelated. Napping in truck typical superintendent. Degree unrelated. Typical college graduate. Started out as a business consultant for a predictive analytics firm. Became a management consultant. Then moved to the deep tech world where I'm in management sales believe it or not. Did a Bay and MA in pure maths focus on algebraic number theory. Thought it'd stay in academia, but realized during my MA that what I loved the most about maths is the problem-solving aspect of it, the necessity to constantly learn new concepts, and the imagination required to think outside the box. Turns out those are qualities that are useful in most lucrative careers. How did you make the transition from algebraic number theory to business consulting? Programming. Having a strong math background is such an asset. Doing that right now in college, and looking forward to it. Only question is how, did you work your way up in math? I've been struggling with passing my tests this semester. I also studied math in college, and got a job as a software engineer too actually. Here's my advice take notes. Writing down information helps you retain it. Do practice problems. Math is a subject, that you need to practice daily to get good at. Set a schedule for yourself and follow through. It's easy to procrastinate without a schedule. If you get distracted by social media or video games easily, try studying at a library or coffee shop. And of course, get good sleep. Otherwise you'll forget what you studied. As a computer engineer with a minor in math, everyone should follow the above steps. Recipe for success. Currently working for an investment bank doing algorithms so basically coding all day every day, but it's great fun. I do this, and it blows the work can be super fun, but to straddle the seat between technologist and quant is frustrating also everyone is dumb and faking it. If I may ask, why is it, that you're not a quant? I've only googled it, and it seems like stuff a maths major might be able to do. And because I messed up Reddit. I'm but in the eyes of the not quant why revenue generators, you're in it guy. Are you on the buy side? If you are you're at the wrong firm. Math is one of the most marketable degrees you can get. It applies to so many industries. Business, physics, chemistry, financing, data management, tax attorneys, political statistics, even music theory. I'm not a math major, but my brother just got his masters from UCSD and explained it to me. Seems like a smart move on his part. Seems like a smart move on his part. Yes, but only if you can sell yourself accordingly. While you can absolutely branch off into many different industries after graduation, you will have to compete against people who studied exactly that subject for their entire academic career. I got a product manager position because I had a math degree. It just pays to know people sometimes. I have a degree in math. It's a line on my resume that shows I want to college and that's about it. Maths major who has worked as chemical researcher, game developer, programmer, Financial data analyst. Those are all really fun. Cool list you've got there. What's your favorite so far? Working in Findata at the moment is great because I'm doing a lot of other things as well managing people, mentoring and so on. A lot of people I work with come from a finance background so there are a lot of things I have been able to teach people about math especially around logic, modular arithmetic and polynomials. Where rhyme as well exposes me to a ton of international clients as well. But I love game dev above those. I still jump in on some game jams and just tinker every now and then. I like the idea that the deliverable is something that brings joy. Making insights for corporate clients just isn't as fulfilling. I think Op was wondering if you sit at a desk and just do math all day. I'm kinda wondering the same thing. Actually here. Nope. I sit at my desk and clean data, and get assumptions ready to do math all day. Then 1% is clicking the button to do the math. Then 9% is checking over the output, to make sure one of two mistakes didn't happen 99%. I messed up, 1%, I broke the software. But, I have to know how to do the math to do all that. It just gets done for me. I think being an actuary would be a fascinating job. If I could start over, I've always thought I'd be an actuary, or an engineer. 
Also an actuary in my degree is in applied math. I agree with this mostly, but some days I do get to do math all day. For example, I use Bayesian credibility testing stuff from exam C pretty often at my job. I would say I do pencil paper algebra almost every day as well, but that's maybe because I just can't do it in my head. Data analyst at a community college that is also working on a PhD in statistics. I spend the vast majority of my time wrangling the data or explaining what the data is to the non-technical people. If I'm not doing that, I'm trying to figure out why my code isn't working again. 99 bugs in the code. Take one down. Patch it out. 136 bugs in the code. Quantitative analyst for a sports betting company. Build predictive models for sports events so that we can place bets on them and win. For clarification more of a betting syndicate. We bet against the bookmakers and win. Our models are better than those. Let me do a TL. Doctor on any ammo you might ever do. Red did how should I bet? You you shouldn't. We'll always win in the long run. Something like that. Clarifying the situation a little more I would say that. Unless you have a room full of PhDs and a number of machine learning models running in the background. You won't beat the book is like we do. We operate more as a betting syndicate. Betting against the large bookmakers. Ah. I interpreted your original statement to mean you were working for a bookmaker. So, how might one invest in your enterprise? P. Every encryption's methods used on password and data encryption for example are done by mathematicians. They are probably still working on new ones. That was one of the first things that come to mind. I'm from a computer background and was interested in cryptography until I started reading through some of the entry-level texts on cryptography and it just all went over my head. I was hired by an oil and gas company due to my math degree. I completed a mechanical engineering degree while working there full time and now I have a position as a machinery engineer for rotating equipment. I do machinery diagnostics, data analysis, and build performance models. What was your original position at the company? Your path is exactly what I want to do. I have a BS in math, and I wanted to go to grad school for either mechanical or electrical engineering, while working full time. I was hired into the process safety engineering department. I really enjoyed the work. I did quantitative risk analysis and modeling. I definitely recommend getting an engineering degree. I'm glad I did. That sounds awesome. How did you hear about that company? I recently graduated, and I for the life of me couldn't even think of places to apply. A day in the life of a mathematician. I buy this special chalk from Japan. You literally have to fly there to get it. It's so unbelievably good compared to American chalk. When they announced they were going out of business soon I bought $4,000 worth of chalk. Enough for 10 years. I did physics so not strictly a mathematician but. Programmer again. Places I've worked at tend to prefer people who have a more mathsy background and my colleagues with a mathsy background have always been the better programmers over those who did computer science. I'm a programmer. Care to explain how math background help out? I get that you develop a strong logic, but is there anything else? As a person who studied computer science and work as a software engineer in the Bay Area, I have nothing but the utmost respect for mathematicians. The father of modern computer science was a mathematician. Math also comes in very handy when it comes to certain fields like machine learning, cryptography, statistics, anomaly prediction, AI, etc. I don't know if I agree that mathematicians make better programmers though. I like the words mathsy background. We're all data scientists and software engineers over here in Silicon Valley. I'm working as a statistician. Although data scientist or statistical programmer would probably be a more appropriate title. Do you enjoy it? I just got my BS in mathematics W a statistics concentration, and I'm not too sure where to go. I was thinking of a data analyst, and then moving my way up or maybe a junior statistician or something. My fear is my programming skills aren't very strong. I'm working as a planning analyst in a controlling department of an insurance company, and I'm responsible for monitoring group companies also insurance companies, preparing annual reports of the Growlo, booziness plans. In our company there is a lot of mathematicians in risk department, actuary, modeling and product development. 
technically inclined mathematician turned engineer here. I work in a manufacturing plant. My primary function is statistical analysis of large data sets to aid in defect cost reduction projects. I was an actuary for 5 years, now I work in business intelligence. I do some light coding and data visualization. I don't do any math harder than drag and drop a forecast line. Was being an actuary a lot of stress? How much training was given to you before you started? I just got my BS in mathematics W a statistics concentration, and I'm not too sure where to go. I was thinking of a data analyst, and then moving my way up or maybe a junior statistician or something. My fear is my programming skills aren't very strong. I feel very overwhelmed to join the workforce. Out of curiosity, why did you decide to stop as an actuary? I'm a student studying for my second exam. I got a degree in applied mathematics. I now do statistical models for one of the major health insurers in America. Lots of programming and thinking about problems in unique ways. Also lots and lots of data. Would love to be doing mathematical biology though. Been looking for that job for a while. This makes me miss learning actual theoretical math. I won't really consider myself a mathematician, but I have a degree in it. I spent the first few years after undergrad working it. I've since transitioned to data analytics for a university, so I guess I'm back in academia. I have a BSc in mathematics from a great uni in Germany, but can't seem to find a good place to put my skills to use here in the US. Any suggestions? Currently I'm working in hospitality. I tried the regular insurance companies, who else hires quints? I'm more on the statistics side of the house social and behavioral methods and statistics. I design and analyze studies on a variety of topics. Very applied stuff, like how can we evaluate the effects of this grant program, or how can we test the effectiveness of this system for accomplishing mission Y. A lot of variability in projects and work with a lot of different types of people. Definitely not chained to a desk pumping out journal articles. Odds compilation for an online sports book. I do web development for a large company. The most math I actually do is when I'm writing unit tests. I do work in academia, but not as faculty. Most of us are in institutional research effectiveness and or assessment. We basically clean and analyze university data for internal, state, and federal reporting. Sometimes we are called research or data analysts. Math and stats major. I work in a research lab technically academia but that's semantics. I do bioinformatics work on genomics data studying cystic fibrosis. Does what you do in the lab relate to what you did at school? I spend most of my day trying to analyze and visualize data, but dealing with people who don't understand the subject or how to visualize things. So I guess it's like getting your children to eat broccoli after seeing you but ice cream. But the children are middle management, the broccoli is logic and reason, and the ice cream is some failed plan thief cooked up. I don't know what to call myself, but I build predictive models for the future value of used industrial machinery. It sounds boring, but it's a great gig for someone who loves mathematics and generalized number crunching. Been doing it for 10 ish years and I love it. Vetting datasets and then vetting results from said dataset. Any mathematicians who work with stock markets? Are you one of those people that come up with the stats, like 9 out of 10 doctors recommend using our toothpaste? Actuary, it's business plus math, or akin to financial analyst here. It's quite a popular path, though data scientists are topping the best jobs lists these days. The exam process to become a fully qualified actuary is brutal, and will take about 7 years on average. I'd like to be an actuary one day, so how would I become one? Like what classes should I take in my next three years of high school and in college? What should I major in? Also how good do I have to be in math to become one? I think I'm pretty good at math, but is good enough, or do you have to be amazing? Also you can take the exams to become one, while you have a job right. I graduated with a first in mathematics, and I'm a production planner plus I look after the id for the business. My job isn't directly linked to my degree, but all the logic, pattern finding and problem solving need for mathematics can be applied to so many fields, including my own. Look into psychology stuff about learning. You'll see that handwritten notes and daily practice are hands down the most important when it comes to being good at math.
Take notes by hand, and do practice problems by hand, even if homework and tests are on a computer. To quote a favorite poster of mine computers are a night bright for bad f king ideas. This is quite literally not an answer to the question that was asked. I worked briefly as a data scientist, and will be doing NLP research at Google starting in July. Not super rigorous mathematically, but close enough and pretty fun. BS in math, and I'm a business analyst now. I never use any of my degree, and have largely forgotten most of it, sadly. I mostly test code. Undergrad degree is mathematics. Work is in database development and architecture. Most people who move from mathematics to data end up in some combination of data science, analytics, or statistics, which never really resonated with me. I hate working with numbers. I would say that I took the strongest liking to abstract linear algebra and set theory in my undergrad studies, so this is a pretty good fit for me. Database theory is rooted in this stuff, and I find myself doing a lot of similar conceptual work, even if not a lot of pedagogical work. My previous position focused on business intelligence and ETL design, which I enjoyed for for a given set of data in format A, do a bunch of set operations on it to get it to fit in format B. Now, I work in systems engineering where I develop tools for data analysis. In this area I know a lot of mathematicians who are in systems or software engineering. Getting out of college I worked in model development and transition from there into policy development. I was the, the only non-engineer beside the PhDs in physics I worked with. Does anybody work as a quant? I find the kind of technical problems interesting, and I was wondering what the path to get there was.